because I'm a fighter. I was in the hospital and I was fighting for my life, but I kept going. I didn't give up. Hey y'all, welcome to Reality TV. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's get to it. Miss Juicy is home from the hospital. She went live to thank her supporters and discuss where she's at on her journey to a full recovery. Now, before we get into this video, make sure you like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and turn on your notification bells. Now, check this out. Hey guys, it's Miss Juicy. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am back. I'm not at 100%, but I am still healing. But this is a video to let all my fans, all my supporters, to let you guys know that I have been released from the hospital. I am at home. As some of you already know, on April the 28th, I suffered a stroke. And the type of stroke I had was it entailed a brain bleed. And for people that don't understand what all a brain bleed entails, that's where ble bleeding on the brain happened. And that can cause memory loss. It can cause different things for different people. For me, I just want everybody to know that I am doing a lot better. I have been gone in a hospital and rehab rehabilitation clinic ever since April 28th. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I just wanted to make sure I reach back out to everyone and tell everyone thank you for your prayers, for all your prayers, and thank you for calling, texting, DMing, reaching out to my team and my family. I really appreciate all you guys. Um, on April 28th, when I suffered a stroke, 911 was called. I was rushed to the hospital for everybody that don't know. The first hospital I was rushed to, as I've always told y'all, everybody wants some of the juice. It was so many people calling the hospital, showing up at the hospital. Before I even knew I was there, they had to care fight me to another hospital. Again, I want y'all to know that I am truly grateful for all the prayers, all the love that different people have shown. But you also got to know that I truly thank father and mother because it wasn't my time. And for the people that know me, know that I'm a fighter. Sometimes I have to be knocked down, but that wasn't the end. Because I'm a fighter, I was in the hospital, and I was fighting for my life, but I kept going. I didn't give up. 
I was released on yesterday, which was a Thursday. And I am here to let you guys know that I'm doing better. I'm not 100%, but right now, but I'm working on it. Again, as I said before, God is not done with me yet. So I'm still here. But I want to say thank you for all the love and support from the people who have shown weather day. And I appreciate y'all being concerned. But you must know. There is one part of me that people know. Yes, I am Juicy from the radio show, from the TV show, whether it's a reality or a movie. But we are real as well. We are real people. Juicy is a character. Shirlene is real. I bleed, I hurt, I do just like everybody else do, okay? One part of me is Juicy. The other part is Shirlene. Shirlene has a real family. I didn't just wake up overnight and become Juicy. I have a real family. So when the word got back to my family that I had suffered a stroke, they rushed here to make sure I was good to help take care of me. Because, as y'all can tell by my speech, I'm going to speech therapy as well. It's a lot of things that I had to learn how to do all over again. So I had to learn how to walk, learn how to talk, learn how to eat, learn how to swallow a lot of things. But my mom and my sister both, they stopped their everyday lives to come here to help me out so I can get better and tend to my everyday life. So again, I want to thank y'all, but I also want to thank them too because they live their own lives and where they live at. They stop with and put their lives on hold to come and help take care of me. Because I don't know if you, like I said, if y'all are aware of stroke victims, everybody is different and it affects people differently the way it affected me. I couldn't remember anything. I couldn't remember anything, not one thing. Right now, I can't even drive right now. I have to learn how to do a lot of things all over again. Even brushing my teeth. Things that we take for granted, that we think, that we think just come natural. I was about to have a fit when I was in a hospital because I couldn't even drink my water. And guess what? I couldn't drink my water because I couldn't swallow. But they still had to feed me nutrients. So going from ICU, so nobody was trying to be mean to the family or to the friends, or to the supporters in ICU, they don't allow a lot of things. They don't allow they don't allow a lot of people 
They don't allow followers. They don't allow flowers. They don't allow visitors. They don't allow a lot of things. And when you in somebody else's unit, you got to go by their rules. So if you're thinking somebody was trying to be mean, that's not it. I want to thank everybody that has called text. I'm slowly trying to return. Even today, I haven't even had a chance to read all the support that you, all the support that you guys have seen. So thank you. A lot of people reminded me that I'm a fighter. I appreciate it. People reminded me or telling me that they're praying for me. I appreciate it. And just to ease a lot of you guys' mind, I want to say thank you. I've heard the shout outs. I haven't seen a lot of stuff. But some of the things that I have seen are people have screenshot it and sent to me. But because there's another side of Juicy, I want you to know the other side and the real side is Charlene. Charlene still got to live. So when my family stop their lives to come down here to take care of me. Just to ease a lot of you guys' mind, yes, I am aware of the GoFundMe. I want to say thank you for all the ones that have already, that has already sent something in. It, even if you didn't, I'm still going to say thank you because I appreciate it. I know there's a lot of scammers out there. I've seen them. But I, I appreciate you guys being concerned. But this one right here, there is a link in my bio. That's from my real family and my real team. Yes, I am aware. So you'll know. I haven't been able to work. So there's no money coming in. I've been down for over a month in the hospital. As y'all can see, I can't even really say I'm going to try it. But I can't even really say Miss Juicy Baby the way I usually say. I'm not at 100% right now, but I'm coming back. But I want you to know, this particular GoFundMe is not a fake at all. It is not. I approved it. I approved it. I still have a mortgage. I still have a life that has to be lived. I still have bills that need to be paid. I can't expect my family just to come out of nowhere and do everything, even though they're trying. So I just wanted to let the people know that has some doubt in their mind. Even about me, I'm doing 100% better. Because I know where my health and my strength came from. I got a long way to go. I'm still fighting and I'm not going to give up. Hopefully, the things that I went through, getting fed from a tube, y'all know that wasn't going to last long for me, no way. 
I was so happy when that woman say, okay, I passed all my swallow tests. I can have some solid food. So, but, hey, it's only one way to do and one way to go now, and that is up. So thank you for calling, reaching out to the Mimi Agency. Thank you for reaching out to my family. I'm doing a lot better, but I got a long ways to go. I just wanted to make sure y'all hear this from my mouth, not from somebody else. Yes, I did suffer a stroke. As you can see, I'm not dead. I'm right here. It might have slowed me down, but um, I'm here, and I'll be back at 100% when the time is right, okay? But I can't push it, and I can't rush it. I love you guys, and again, this came from me, and we'll talk on another love. Love you, Miss Juicy. Y'all can say it for me, Miss Juicy Baby. Um, <laughs> this right here, this is not me. I can't stay this way too long, y'all. So keep praying. We'll be back real soon. Love you and thank you. And again, thank you for all the support. If you want to continue to support, you can. Again, the link is in the bio. If you don't want to do it, thank you too. Love you.